Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have a special video for you. I'm in the Maldives and we are at the Amari Araya Resort. This is a beautiful resort. We stay there for 10 days. First we stayed at the beach villa and now at the ocean pool villa. The video will show you the island which is quite huge. Um, and uh, I will show you all the facilities which are there. Uh, I will show you what you can do. So it will be quite extensive. All my videos are longer, but I want you to get a very authentic experience. I want you that you understand what you can do, how is the Maldives, um, what experience can make. Everything I think is, is good for you to learn in that video. Before we start the tour, a little bit of information, where is the Ra Atoll? It's in the northwest part of the Maldives. Here you have a more detailed map of the Ra Atoll. We went uh, with the water airplane. It took about 45 minutes uh, from the airport International Male. And uh, this is the overview of the Amari Araya Resort. We start now our tour on top uh, where is 201 to 230 the Ocean Pool Villa and uh, the tour takes you to the left down to the um, reception area. Then we have a look at the diving center and uh, we look at the mangroves all to the left and then we went back up. Uh, we see uh, the restaurants area and we'll see the spa and we'll see the children's area. So this is, gives you a great overview about the resort and uh, you see it's a quite huge island here at the Amari. We are starting the tour uh, in front of the ocean pool villa. And I'll take the bicycle. Just so these are the ocean pool villas. So you see there are different types of villa, the ocean villa and the ocean pool villa. The ocean pool villas have obviously pool. This is uh, without pool. And at the end you have the, the villas with the pool. I said I'm going with a bicycle. It's around four o'clock here, and the uh, sunset is usually here. You see that wonderful view. Here is your first place for activities, it's your outdoor activities, which you really can enjoy. You can rent this kind of water scooters. There are three available. This is the center for diving there's always a person there who can support you in renting the equipment explain you a little bit details and on the very back here you see the second line of ocean villas and ocean pool villas so people still enjoying is the best time to be honest we it's february so clear sky, a little bit windy, but uh, you can see this island is quite huge. So we will first go to the reception. Some very nice impressions. Let's see, look back. So, a little bumpy here. So here, you have these places uh, to get the bikes. The system here for the bikes, and I learned it's all for other Maldives resources, 
that uh, they are free disposable so you don't have your own bike for your villa um, every bike is uh, let's say free for everybody so if you see a bike and uh, on the street you can catch it and uh, you can ride the bike until the next destination leave it there so no problem it's free of charge so it's not advised to walk always because this resort is quite a big one of the biggest resorts so always this very nice pathway you can of course walk in the evening also no problem but uh, it's nicer with the bicycle and here always looking on for me on the right side you see the villas to understand one the one villa is you see persons are here personnel is extremely friendly this is a beach villa stop always there's also a bus coming every 15 minutes actually it's coming every couple of minutes so if you want to go with uh, with the bus we'll definitely see it on on this trip coming back and forth just have to wait a little bit and then you get from one place to the other bus drivers are also extremely friendly talking about the personnel here you see a little lizard lizard I mean, when we saw of animals, these animals has, uh, this island, sorry, has no snakes, so you're very secure. There are also no dangerous spiders. There are also these small, only these small lizards. Um, um, many people ask, what about mosquitoes? Mosquitoes uh, are obviously in most of the islands available because it's part of the ecosystem mosquitoes lizards and um, birds so they all depend on each other and if you kill let's say one of these animals the whole system get out of balance and the people don't want that uh, so it's a very complex ecosystem here on this island but um, don't be afraid if you come to the room uh, you have uh, several um, things that to protect you from the mosquitoes to one thing to plug into the into your um, electricity to protect it one after before and after the skin so everything will be there available so we have been here for about eight days seven days so well, there was absolutely no problem so i show you as promised this is the lobby this is the entrance where you arrive and we arrived there for eight, eight days and um, obviously this was my first time in the maledives so i read a lot I sh looked a lot of youtube videos etc but honestly, I was really overwhelmed. We went with the plane um, from Male Airport. Um, and uh, it was uh, quite, it was absolutely no problem. They uh, checked your luggage in. Uh, the luggage can be on the plane. That's very important. 20 kilo maximum and eight kilo for your hand carry. So they check it. Some of the airplanes allow you 32 kilos of um, luggage but actually if you go to the plane make sure you don't have over 20 so you take it maybe it's, it's much over it you take it to to maybe your hand luggage and you balance it out with your partner so absolutely no problem I think they told me there is a small fee um, uh, to pay per kilogram if we have too much so this is the place where the airplane arrives so it comes from here and it lands here and then absolutely a um, couple of the personnel warmly 
greeting you and then you are guided, you are introduced to your personal um, assistance. We exchange WhatsApp numbers. You can do, um, ask him any questions. He will make you recommendation. He will do your booking, whatever you want, housekeeping, etc. He is a personal service for you and the personal assistant. So every of this person, our, um, our guide was um, Sandy. Um, Sandy, really nice guy. He even speak the German language. So we're really happy to to have him and uh, we are WhatsApp connected. Every morning he writes that, good morning, how are you doing? Do you need any help? So you have this very warm personal uh, touch in uh, this Amari Raya. And honestly, I guess this is the personality of all these Maldives islands. People are very warm and welcomed. So here, you, we went here and um, so all the people sat on different places and we niche immediately got uh, something to drink whatever we want a coffee uh, or some some soft drinks or water we sat here he explains that everything about the island it was a really really nice uh, reception then immediately we were taken with this kind of um, buggies I would say uh, to our room um, so the 100% we are super happy to have this reception at the beginning and you imagine you fly six to eight hours overnight you're quite exhausted um, when you arrive you need that very warm welcome so you know, anyhow come can come always to the reception you can ask the people if you have any any questions your primary contact is your personal assistant personal concierge he will do anything also if you have some cancellations etc so we are now go going to the mangrove uh, experience and to the diving center See i am there. here at uh, the diving center and um, i will show you a sh short um, round walk in the diving center so they offer here in Amari Raya a lot of uh, diving activities so here is a center for very nice and friendly people here so they you can ask any question this by the way is the Ra Atoll just to give you an overview where we are this is a whole atoll with all the islands and we are here at the Amari Raya Maladives. Uh, so this is the place we are here um, and here are some other um, resorts here. So there are also uh, diving spots here mentioned on this uh, billboard. So if we go further once you receive here, they show you the schedule. It looks like this. This is a weekly schedule for excursions. Um, so you see from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you can have different experiences uh, of what is uh, advised maybe for you when you come is the house reef snorkeling. It's every day from 11.30 to 12.30, yes? And then you can go to different additional activities. Is a turtle quest, manta search, snorkeling, etc. So afternoon dive. So everything uh, what you want, uh, you can experience here. So this is a schedule overview, and then you have these um, different uh, programs. Uh, here is the the sport fishing um, activities. Let me flip it for you, so you can, starting from hire, hire a private boat, um, different lengths, you can rent jet ski, you can make a jet ski tour here, 50 minutes, and uh, 
uh, water sport activities, like I showed you before, everything is available, available from flying board, banana boat, monoski, wakeboarding, water ski, and uh, now we come to, you can even rent a GoPro for $50 uh, per trip, uh, plus tax and plus um, uh, charges, windsurfing, kayak, stand-up paddle. So you will never get bored. Even you have some group excursions here, like uh, coral gardens, snarkening, turtle quest, as we saw in the schedule before. So everything is here available, so you won't get, um, you won't get to uh, miss any of these activities. What I did here, because it was quite windy, um, and it was not so easy for snorkeling, I rented a snorkel equipment by your own. This is complimentary. So uh, when I arrived, uh, the lady um, gave me um, uh, fins and masks. So I had to sign, of course, that I got this and it's complimentary. And uh, here are these things you can, you can rent. You see, uh, very nice. He also gave me sh short instruction how to use this in case you have some questions. It's very nice um, how to use it, how to clean it. When you go into the water, uh, what you have to do, uh, you have to rub it with a little bit of uh, soap and then it will not get foggy. So this is really you know, everything what you can have for diving and for snorkeling, for act other activities. So this is the, the dive center. Many nice people are helping you. How are you doing? How are you doing? Excellent. Yes. You are, you are a diving instructor, if you, uh, you mind? I'm an excursion guide. You are excursion guides. What excursions? Ah, okay. So he is a man here uh, to, uh, to guide you and uh, very warmly welcome, very known of all these activities. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. So this concludes um, um, this tour through the diving center. So we will now go back uh, and show for the next uh, activities, which is a mangrove. This is the mangrove experience. I've done that um, two or three days ago. Uh, if you look at my Instagram, Greg Sideris, I'll show a link below. You will see uh, photos. I don't want to go in because this is a guided tour. So I had a very nice guy, a local, who helped me with that. Just as a spoiler, yes, mangroves are so important to protect the islands. Uh, they have this whole ecosystem with birds, um, um, fish and crabs. So I won't go into detail, but it's really worth learning about the island, learning about the locals here, how they um, live together with the flowers, it's really a nice experience here uh, at the Magrove Center. Just a look back. So is, this is uh, the Magrove Experience Tour here at the Amari Raya Resort. So now after a two minute bicycle ride, I will show you the old dining zone, kids zone, gyms and spa and the World Sporter Center. Let's go. This is the bus, by the way, I was uh, talking. It goes really every five minutes, very friendly. And you see, this is the bus station. So this lady asking probably, where are you going? He said, I'm going to that direction. Okay, she's waiting. So we are here at uh, one of the main squares. Um, and um, in this square, there are a lot of important things to know when uh, you are here. And uh, this is the information center, by the way. 
Every time you have any questions, just come to them. Uh, they will give you everything. You can also make your booking. And then I go to the spa. Uh, we have been to the spa. Uh, two days ago, we enjoyed uh, um, 30 minutes Thai spa massage. So I can really tell you it was quite nice. First washing and scrubbing your feet. And then we had this kind of very nice back massage. You can ob obviously tell what you want. So this is called the My Spa Center. I'm not sure whether it's open yet. Yes, it's open yet. Hello. May I ask, make a short video? Thank you very much. So when you go to the My Spa Center, this is the entry, the reception, the lady is helping you to decide what kind of massage you want to have. Also, there is a lot of uh, possibilities to buy um, products. Uh, you can have 10% off as I see as a promotion. So here she will also help you to understand what is good for you or not. For privacy reason, I won't go into the spa area. I have made some photos which I will put into the video and um, so you see you feel the nice spirit and uh, maybe she can give us an overview. Is this a list of uh, the spa treatment? This one is the promotion sir. Uh, this is a special promotion here. There's always some special promotion you can ask or the lady will immediately tell you what is currently on promotion. Uh, I will put a link. Um, on, you, uh, on a website where you can see what kind of treatments are available. Uh, obviously, you get also a brochure into your uh, villa where you can have also the information or the link there. So all treatments um, are in this information and you can book it in advance. You can come here, book it as we did. So as I said, we were there one or two days ago, it was really, really nice uh, experience. And um, this is a Maya Spa, I can highly recommend. Just a very uh, uh, glimpse view. You see in the middle of the nature, you really, really uh, will enjoy it. So let's go to the next experience. Thank you very much. So now we're coming back to the main square. This is also called the village square stop. So you have the village cafe. I was uh, there and really enjoyed a lot of good food here. Um, and uh, this guy is so nice uh, to open the door. In this area is very nice and cool. And you can uh, eat uh, uh, pastries which are produced by the local pastries master. So it looks so delicious. So here is a raspberry mousse cake, chocolate coffee tart, passion fruit cake, Reese peanut butter, pistachio, hazelnut, everything you want to have. Uh, croissant with chocolate, uh, fruit croissant, and they have also this special ice cream in different flavors and cookies. We were here uh, two days ago and uh, I can tell you they have excellent coffee and we enjoyed also here, uh, which we are currently doing is a matcha tea, the hot matcha tea and what we did because I love it a lot, it's um, uh, backgammon, uh, you can play here, you have different other um, games you can um, use here or some books, so it's really nice, a nice atmosphere and I show you also you can have a, let's say a high tea, um, whatever you want you can order, you see also here spring rolls, lemon pound cake, a different kind of tea, 
so you will really enjoy it. Make uh, this place when you want to uh, play some games, eat some afternoon high tea. Uh, this, as said, is the village cafe in the square. I'm going next. There is a photo lab. And the photo lab, very nice. We will have our photo session in a couple of days. So usually you go here, you discuss with the expert what you want to have, which kind of photos, um, which kind of dress, which kind of scenery, which kind of uh, different, um, well, posing, etc. Every detail is good to discuss up front. And, uh, you know, then you will make an appointment for a specific date and he will explain you everything, what kind of photo shootings they, um, they offer. And you get also some printouts, etc. So we'll do that. Uh, and this is called the photo lab uh, service um, by RTC. And this is the beach bliss bazaar so we went here got a nice shirt um i also got a nice um got a nice um bathing suit hello can i make a video for two minutes so thank you very much uh, ah thank you very much thank you very much so here if you've gotten something uh, if you want to upgrade, uh, you can buy a lot of things uh, for the children, um, nice shirts. Um, you see, I've got this one. This is one, one of my favorite from Wilbrecker and also a shirt. So fashion, bathing suits, whatever you want. Um, is all available here in the store so they are very friendly they help you uh, to decide what you want you have also some sun cream uh, some accessory you you need here and um, some hand uh, crafted uh, memories you can purchase from here and bring it at home so really really nice things uh, to purchase here and I may, might go here to see what they're having here additionally clothes additionally um, things to purchase for your home so this was uh, the uh, the shop oh she's so friendly so thank you very much okay. so if you forget something or if you want to upgrade your your style and your fashion, you can go here. This is the Beach Bliss Bazaar shop. And this is the artistry. So in case you're interested in local art, you can uh, shop here. Some pictures and other nice things. If you go a little bit further, I have to show you the artist zone. Also a place, a second place uh, for children. So just to say, this resort is uh, for two target audiences. One is uh, romantic uh, couples, uh, couples and uh, then you have families because this resort offers and will offer a lot of activities for your children uh, the friend here um, she has two children and um, so there's lots of activities uh, you can do with the children this is a center 
it's called the discovery den and um, let me have a look i won't go let's say from the front road because of privacy reason which i highly respect and um, you see uh, the play zone uh, where you can go with your child doing some some activities and now we are going to the we are going to the artist zone um, they, are, they offer something very special um, I will show you in a minute so first in this artist zone you see um, Sebastian's atelier so some very nice uh, paintings which obviously you can buy and then this is the artist zone the special thing here is that in this area uh, you can make your own boat and um, uh, there are two, two, two places. The first thing um, is you make your boat here. Hello. So he is the expert here. So you can make your boat here. They provide you everything, all the materials, all the things you need to, to build the boat. You see there are different um, uh, parts. Uh, also, it's, it's not too complicated, but if you don't are an expert, he will help you. What's your name? My name is Najit. Najit will help you, of course, uh, how to put the pieces together. Uh, it makes a lot of fun, I can tell you. We haven't done it, but we will do it obviously the next days. So this is the first part. So you're going to get these materials, you have all this... Uh, things how to do it and you have a guide who helps you here then put it together with the glue and then he has to take some hours until the glue is um, is hardening um, so this is the first station so to say and this boat is uh, a traditional Maledivian boat yes. so to say so this is the traditional sailing boat and we have all the pieces here of different sizes. We have large, medium and small. At the first session, we will give all the cut pieces. The guest can sand the edges. We will provide the sandpaper. And after the sanding, we will paste A, B, C, these three parts together. Mm -hmm. So A, B, C, we will paste together and we need to leave it to dry about two hours because we are using the wood glue. Mm -hmm. So once it's dry, we will drill the hole. The hole is called the candle. So I'll show you here the sample one. So we will provide a candle like this. So the hole is made for the candle. So once uh, the hole is made and there's a hole for mast as well, once it's done, the guests can come back here. So as you can see over here, these are the ones with the hole. Mm -hmm. So the guests can come on the second session. They will just send over here, here, inside and, and paste the last parts. So these parts they will paste and then they can start painting. The painting will be done in the next hut. Okay, I follow you. Yes, please. So not far away there is a next hut. Do you see we're walking and only this area it is for games. So we have uh, all the games. This is the menu. Also it comes with the Donny, Darts, Othello, Chess, Scrabble. So all these games we have, it's free of charge for the guest. They can come anytime here during the day and we will provide them the board game so they can play it here. They can also enjoy darts. Oh guys, well, how nice is this one? You play games and you have uh, the white sand and you have the birds and then you have the palm trees like a paradise. So we are now in the second hut.
So this is the art scape where people can uh, paint their donuts. So here are some of the sample boards that some of the guests painted and also some of our colleagues painted. So this, the guests can take back after painting the boards, they can take back these boards as souvenir okay. with them. Yeah. So this is complimentary. This is complimentary. Yeah. It's free of charge for all the guests. And also we have some other items here like coconut canvas, mini uh, easels with the canvas, hard canvas. These are chargeable ones. Doni making is free. And this is a masterpiece that I made just for display. Ah, oh, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, really nice. <laughs> so what is here? So here, this is the painting area. So the guests can come down here. We will provide them paints, brushes, and all the necessary items that they need and also we make them uh we'll give them candles and also the sales so we make it here and we give it to the guest mm -hmm. so once they done it we will uh wrap the sale because it's with a paper mm -hmm. so we will wrap it with the tape make it waterproof and we will give it to the guest they can take it back with them ah, can they actually go swim on the water can they we do, uh, there's Amari ritual just before every guest departure. So mm -hmm. during Amari ritual, the guests can either use their the donies, the boats that they have made, or mm -hmm. also we can provide the ready boats from here. Because yes. some of the guests, once they painted their doni very nicely, they don't want to put it in the water. Mm -hmm. So okay. we can provide these ready boats for them, and they can do a little race at the village square. Ah, that's very nice. So a good uh, tradition, once you ended your uh, vacation here, you have um, some nice memories, uh, to, uh, which is handmade. You can then put it on your uh, chimney or put it somewhere else as an everlasting memory of this beautiful island. And also we have a uh, for kids area. This is a, it's a mini uh, library and we have a net down there so the kids can come and have fun here. Also behind we have a climbing wall for the kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for which age is it around? It's uh, any age Eight. the kids can come down here, they can have fun. And also it's for kids and adults, for both. Yes, yes. So over here at the, at the back, we have the climbing wall. Ah, very nice. I follow you, Jit. So this is the climbing wall and it's really strong, like for adults as well. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, very strong. Okay, super. So Najid is really multi-talented, an artist, a painter, a climber, oh, mangrove expert. Mangrove expert <laughs> so he really knows a lot of things. I'm very happy uh, that he helps us to understand what you can do in that area on that Amari Raya resort yeah. in uh, for inspiration. And over here, this is a tower, a small tower. And also above the timber limber where we make doni, the kids can climb up and also they can relax on these uh, nets. Okay. So this really is also a nice place that the kids can come down and relax. Ah. And even adults can stay here. It's very, very strong. Yes, yeah, a typical chilling area, yes, for the kids and they will be fascinated. And we have a little tower that you can take a peek around the okay let me climb up the tower it might be quite interested to to have a view over this beautiful and large island so i climb up now just step by step watching my step does it hold yes yes it's a little bit windy here you see also this is also the kids area all over here so nice view palms we have around now five o'clock so really really nice place for the kids to be there i would recommend just to have always have a look at that place um, and the artistry obviously is not only for kids but also for adults um, to get a sweet memory for home So let me go down step by step. So this area is also known as Seb's compound. So it's uh, regarding Sebastian, the artist, 
it's regarding the uh, concept of the island and also we are using all the palette that gets used we don't want to throw it we rather keep it here as a decoration so this is the palette that the guest has used here we use it as a decoration and this well is a rainwater well that mr sebastian in sebastian concept he used his uh, sail of his boat to collect the rainwater from here the rainwater will go through here and uh, he used this as his uh, rainwater well ah so very smart and over here is yeah. mr sebastian he is sitting in his atelier you can see the picture of sebastian so this is the atelier the entrance of artist zone and we have the coin here for atelier so this is the drawing of sebastian and also this is the place where we uh, showcase the products that we make here just to give a little background information what i read in 1955 1954 1954 what happened so in 1954 mr sebastian he was uh, settled in uh, thailand he's from holland and then he was taking his journey to our uh, art exhibition in istanbul so he was traveling on his own sailboat which is called grace when he was traveling from uh, bangkok to istanbul on his way he reached india goa and from goa he was going to sri lanka and he hit this uh, thunderstorm and he ended up on this island and he was stranded on this island and he built this Seb's compound, this area and also the watchtowers around the island just uh, to look for help. Mm -hmm. So one day he found a Dhoni boat like this. He saw a boat which is coming down and he put the smoke signal, the boat found him and then they rescued him with this boat. That's the reason why we are making these boats for guests. Mm -hmm. So very nice member. How long did he stay in the island? It's uh, about eight years. Eight years. Guys, can you imagine eight years on that island? So incredible. Yes. We also have already uh, met one guy who is still living in uh, Maldives. He's from Kenya. Mm -hmm. He's in Mafushi Island and he's, he was also stranded on uh, Maldives because his ship was wrecked and he's living now in Maldives with, uh, he's married to a local and mm -hmm. he is now considered as a local as well. Ah, yeah. so very nice, very nice history, very nice story and I'm very happy that this tradition, that this legacy, that his history is still living. And is Sebastian still alive? No, it's once 1955 probably. Yeah, so died a couple we of are years. not sure about yes. it, but we just uh, try to keep his concept and yes. then bring this story around yeah. with everyone. Yes, very, very nice inspiration. So Sebastian is uh, like a, a patronage of this whole island. You can see a lot of places where he made his footprint and um, uh, they show you also the story and and, and uh, pictures, etc. So, so for this, I would say, Najit, thank you very much thank for you. giving us this good, uh, nice tour, helping us to understand what uh, can be done here for your uh, leisure time, what you can build when you bring your children. So thank you very much, thank and you. we will move on. Thank, thank you. you. So n the next place I will show you is the food gallery area and the Italian restaurant with a pool. So this is uh, when you have a full board. This is the Amaya food gallery, all day dining. We'll have here breakfast. We'll have here lunch and we'll have here dinner. So this is the way you walk there. Hello. See very friendly uh, people here. So when you enter here, you get here the destination and culinary events of the day. Uh, you can uh, a book a lot of things like the candlelight dinner, the jungle dinner, the watchtower dinner, the valley dinner, the lagoon lunch, champagne breakfast. the floating breakfast, the mixology experience, the cholesterol soiree, Valentine's wine tasting, Valentine's is tomorrow, Thai culinary journey which we booked is uh, 
the sushi making class and Thai cuisine history. So really, really um, a lot of activities, especially also for the culinary. So this is the area for food and I will show you in the uh, in uh, one of the next sceneries uh, the food uh, area in detail but as you can see your spoiler um, you're in the middle of the beach wonderful sunset So this is the Amaya all day dining area. So let's go for breakfast. It's a nice morning here in the Maldives at the Mariraya. So we always find a nice table in the shadow. It was always good starting this food. Getting um, fresh. Morning. Good morning. Morning, sir. Morning. morning. Thank you. You can make um, different egg. I'm here at the Sunset Bar. It's a little bit windy, but this is a beautiful place. They have every day a program. So sorry for the wind, but it's really, really nice. Today is a very talented saxophone player here. You can sit here in the evening. Also, you can make um, he is playing very, very nice. Uh, so young talent. <laughs> Thank you. They have excellent uh, drinks here. And you see the view. This is a sunset bar. So we went here. They have also very nice shisha. And tomorrow uh, I will have the sushi class here. So I'm really looking forward uh, to come back here. You see the sun, how nice the sun is, is going back. There's also a terrace upstairs. But um, this is the sunset bar with live music today. Very nice and uh, very friendly people. Hello, hello. Have a good day. Have a good day. Switch now from the beach pool villa to the ocean pool villa and I am happy to show a little bit around how it looks like inside and uh, how it is being in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Come and follow me. So this is uh, how it looks like from the outside. This is the ocean pool villa. Our villa is number 222. So come on in and have a look. So now entering. So you see the double bed and the coffee machine, TV, and uh, nice places to sit and relax. And once we get outside, you have this fantastic view. It's a little bit windy today, but um, you can relax here. Obviously, jump into the pool. Oh, the bathroom. Toilet.
Beach Pool. Look at that. 